Oh, I've been waiting to do a video on this one in so long. Like, so long. My name is Luke the Kook, and you're watching WASE FM. Happy Halloween. I'm sure you're no stranger to stop motion animation. How many times have you seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? How about the year without Santa Claus? You might not realize this, but you're most likely no stranger to Will Vinton. Oh sure, everyone has heard of Ray Harryhausen, but how many people talk about Will Vinton? The creator of such things like the California Raisins, the Domino's Noid, and Claymation Morshoe. Oh, bombs? You want it? One of these is a lie. While Ray Harryhausen and other similar animators sweat in the dark for years of their life working on feature-length films, Will Vinton made a name for himself churning out rather successful ads. Yeah, of course he had a team of animators for this movie too that I'm about to talk about, but anyway, Vinton would eventually take to television specials with A Claymation Christmas, featuring the California Raisins and hosted by a pair of dinosaurs named Rex and Herb, which were trademarks to Vinton's work as well. From that, it was only sensible to ride the success train with Claymation Comedy of Horrors. But where Claymation Christmas featured a series of short musical segments hosted by two goofy dinosaurs, Will Vinton's Claymation Comedy of Horrors follows a linear tale of a snail and a pig looking to con their way to fast success. It starts with Wilshire Pig inventing a carnival ride that's basically just used to empty out the change from your pockets. It seems to need some work. I think the invention is titled Project High School Bully. Apparently the ride creates a crater where Sheldon miraculously stumbles upon a VHS tape that possesses him or something. It's death by PowerPoint, I'm afraid. Well, it leads them to death by creating a map on Sheldon's tongue for some reason. The map leads to the laboratory where the all-powerful Frankenstein monster slumbers. But who would want an all-powerful monster when you can just get a tote bag? What I want is the... The tote bag! Even getting the tote bag isn't easy because the laboratory is within a castle that is currently occupied by ghouls and the undead. Which kind of sucks for Wilshire and Sheldon because the undead are really discriminatory toward the living. Hey, dead things. Lives matter. Living lives. You heard what I said. The goopy lady confuses Wilshire and Sheldon for Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which are technically one and the same. But it doesn't matter because Dr. Jekyll is actually mortal. Actually. Wilshire and Sheldon run into some pretty unique types, but especially some famous types like the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. The famine of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. They also run into Wilshire's grandma, who completely rats them out for being alive. Like I said. Living lives, oh, never mind. It wasn't even funny the first time anyway. Wilshire manages to find the monster by chance, but there's just a small problem. Yeah, there's a small chance you're gonna terrorize the world with this monster. You could say that Wilshire came up short and with the undead chasing after him, there's little hope of making it out alive. No, no. Despite all those puns, all Wilshire had to do was water his monster. Now we're looking at the bigger picture. Hey, I'm not the only one making puns. This time we've got your number. Now Wilshire can conquer the world with his gigantic monster. Except he didn't check to see if it was deflatable, which it is apparently. I hate to tell you, Wilshire, didn't seem like this monster was gonna last long anyway. Ah! Will Vinton's claymation comedy of horrors. And you know what? It holds up. It's great for kids. Heck, it's better with the whole family. It's even funny for adults. It's charming and doesn't preach to us that conning and greed are bad. I mean, you know, because the movie believes that we already know that. And it actually does a really good job at making fun of conning and greed. I especially love the scene where Wilshire and Sheldon are having a TED talk as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and botch it, apparently, where Wilshire turns Sheldon into a cute teddy bear merry-go-round to a booing audience. I don't know why they're booing. I would think that's pretty freaking awesome. Then they get kicked into a bowling alley of all places. The animation is fluid, and there's almost always movement in every frame. The team of animators really pour their heart into their work and it shows. You'll be able to find this movie to watch for free without ads on YouTube because the uploader doesn't own it. 
and it's worth the 24 minutes of your time. Happy Halloween, and thank you for watching this video on WASD-FM. My name is Luke the Kook. Boy. Nobody move with the old lady buys it, I mean it. Oh.